Good morning. This is an abuse of power that the president is again trying to manipulate federal law enforcement to serve his political interest. And the president is what he is. He thinks he's above the law. He has no respect for the rule. But where are the Republicans to speak out on this blatant violation of the rule of law? A.G. Barr has deeply damaged the rule of law uh, by withdrawing the DOJ sentencing recommendation, the act of interference, and Trump's uh, retribution against lead attorney in the Stone case. Because I think every candidate in the race has had a positive influence on the race. American people must have confidence in our nation's system of impartial justice. And with the withdrawal of the four career prosecutors, the case, what an act of courage on their part. It must be commended. But the actions of the Justice Department. Justice Department has this, uh, should have this R of something so apolitical, so above the political fray. The people have confidence in the rule of law in our country. The attorney general has stooped to such levels. From your perspective, when it comes to war powers, why does this not hem the president in? Well, this should be investigated. There, the leader in the Senate has called for an inspector general uh, look into this. Uh, our committee, the Judiciary Committee, as you know, has invited and he has accepted the attorney general come before the Judiciary Committee, and that will be the end of March. I wish it were sooner, but it, he did accept the invitation, so we don't have to uh, go another step there. It's about these old AUMFs, but those who are opposed to what's going on in the Senate today that this, you know, undercut. But this cannot, this is not what America is about. It is so wrong. And again, I keep uh, public sentiment is making a judgment about this, but I would hope uh, that Republicans who respect the rule of law, and I assume most of them do, except for the aberration in the White House uh, and, and his uh, henchmen, uh, that, uh, that they would speak out on this too, because it cannot stand why they're running, what they know about as their, as their priority issues. The War Powers Act is something that we respect and we would hope that the President of the United States would respect it too. In times of our attack, any and all powers are vested in the President of the United States, if you read the War Powers Act. It triggers, I don't like that word, any and all powers on the part of the Commander-in-Chief. But what we're saying is, in p terms of other decisions that the president makes, that Congress has a role to play in that, according to the Constitution of the United States. Because I think every candidate in the race has had a positive influence. So I'm glad that it will have bipartisan support for recognizing par Congress's role in all of this. And again, uh, our first responsibility is to protect and defend. And we want to do that, but we want to do it in a way that does not eliminate the power of, of declaring war from the Congress of the United States. I'm